Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. We are getting ready to start a new melodrama from that Mona. <laughs> so here we go. We are actually going into this. This is season one of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Season one, episode one. Mona got some stuff for us. She started off into this intro, and I'm listening to her, and she's steadily talking. I'm like, I wonder how long this took her to write this intro. It was just a mess. It was given very much a welcome to my melodrama. So I'm like, here we go again. All right, so basically, we're going in. We're starting with Mona talking her shit. I'm Mona Scott Young. She's talking this shit and building it all up, and it's just a whole brand new cast of folks. We start right off with Tierra Marie. She's a singer. Actually, if you don't know her, she's a singer. Um, she's a former girlfriend of Ray J. And she's basically kind of going on talking to a girl, Hazel E., who was a publicist, who is now some uh, underground rap artist. I don't know about her. Bitch looks too old. Even be though she looks old. I don't know how old she is, really. I think she might have been. I want to say she said she was like 35. The bitch was just too old for what it is that she's portraying. She's old as she look old. She old in the face. But anyway, those two are actually roommates. Um, they hadn't seen each other. They were talking about how they hadn't seen each other and everything because here had been gone for months doing um house sitting for somebody. Whatever. Anyway. The thing about Tier Tier is actually Ray J's ex. So that's going to be the whole big thing. You can actually see it coming down. She had to snap out. She turned up on Ray J. And she basically said she hasn't seen her from in like eight months. But she's feeling some kind of way because... He had stuff at his uh, house that belonged to her and she wanted it back. And whoever this, he is, this new girlfriend. And just the best. Just the best. But I think we're going to see a whole lot of them too in their foolishness. Moving on, we have Morgan. Morgan is the personal assistant to Ray J. She actually has an 11 year old son. They said they're like brother and sister. At this point, I have no be no reason not to believe them. But, you know, Ray J. Ray J kind of, like, fucks everybody. Ray J has this uh, reputation for fucking everybody, which is hilarious with his little self. But anyway, next on the cast, we have Ray J. Ray J, he was actually was putting together a launch party for RayJ.com. So, we're sitting there looking at that. So, it's him and Morgan... And Morgan's saying, why in the fuck is Tierra's name on the guest list? And he had all these exes, these girls that he has slept with all of them. And they're all on the guest list. And she was wondering, like, why are these people on the guest list? This is going to be a problem. So he's like, no, no, no. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. If you've ever watched any Love and Hip Hop, you know better. Okay. The next thing we go into, we have Omarion. Omarion, he's a singer, formerly a B2K, the boy group B2K. He's actually going to be on the show this time as well. He's basically um, planning on doing, you know, he's the only one in the group that actually had came and really did do something with himself and actually got any type of success past the B2K days. Um He's actually planning, you know, he's working on some stuff so he can come back out again. So we're going to be seeing Omari on. He has this girl, April, who is actually seven months pregnant. Um, Leslie is Omari on's mom. She's actually, we're going to see more of her as well. She actually, and her name was Leslie. Leslie actually liked April before she got pregnant. After she got pregnant, there was friction. So I was kind of like, well, what is that all about? But I said, I guess we'll see later. We move on to the next day. We see Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy's a rapper. Um, yeah. Really. Um, 
he he has this girlfriend, which is Mia Riley, who actually happens to be the daughter of Teddy Riley, producer Teddy Riley of the group Guy, formerly of the group Guy. Um, she she's strange. She's not. She's like in this whole thing where she's not even sure that they're actually exclusively dating, which was kind of weird. I'm like, yeah, okay, they're going to be interesting to see. And then you found out later she actually has a baby, too. Ooh. Yeah, you found out later that she has a baby and... Soldier Boy looks like he's not real... St it was like a thing where they've actually been together and then they had a little breakup and in the midst of the breakup, she ended up pregnant. So, I, I kind of sensed that he was feeling a little some kind of way, but kind of liked the baby anyway, you know. So, they ended up... There's a poor, poor part where they're actually moving in, thinking of moving in together. She was all down with it. I don't know that he's really, really with it, but we're going to see what's going to come on come from that. Then we have Tierra Marie and Ray J. We actually see them interact for the first time. Tierra Marie is a crazy bitch. She's crazy. And it's going to be very interesting to see how she unfolds because that bitch goes from zero to ten like that. She was, you know, telling him she missed him and she loved him and all this stuff. And then she got just as mad because he was giving, you know, very much, I just want to be friends with you, this, that, the other. He just playing with her head. And that bitch turned around and got madder than a goddamn hornet. And it was quick. So she's going to be interesting. Very interested to watch Miss Tierra Marie. She's going to be a piece of work. Anyway, moving on. We have Lil Fizz, who actually also was from the group B2K. And um, he has a baby with this girl. And her name is uh, Monice. She's trying to start her own business. She sings and does a couple other things. But he has restraining orders against her and all of this kind of carrying on. They share custody for the baby. And it's just they got a whole goddamn mess going on. She came into the studio and caused all kind of havoc for a minute. And she just was a mess. She was a mess. And so the two of them are going to be interested to watch. I said, this is some, some shit here. This little cast here, but it's, it's there's like a lot of people. There's a lot of people, and they spent the whole hour basically going through these people and introducing you to these folks. And I'm like, okay, cool. Then we finally got down to the nuts and bolts and some of the drama. I was like, thank you very much. Like I said, Omarion's mother doesn't really care for April. And so April, you know, Omarion's basically telling April... She got to work it out because that's his mom and she's going to have to work it out and find some common ground. Bullshit. I don't have to work it out with you. Fuck that. And then the more we saw of Omarion's mother, Omarion's mother, and I hate to say it, is a total and complete motherfucking ridiculous ass bitch. She just sat and told this girl right in her face, you know, I don't have to get along with you because you're the new person in the family. You have to get along with everybody. I don't have to get along with you. And then she basically went on to tell her why she don't like her because Omari was taking care of all her bills and carry it on. And then when she came in and then she got pregnant, that seemed to deter what he was doing for her. Stone cold cuckoo clock bitch. Okay? She was just as secure in that bullshit she was talking. I said, oh my. But the little girl was very respectful. That April was very respectful because I had told Omarion's mother. I had told her just as nice when she started all that. When she said she was the new person. Family, I would have turned up a fucking head. A headstand. And told her, do you see that pink part on my ass? Bitch, you can kiss it. And would have told him to catch the parts that she missed. You know, I think they're they're just mean. I I just didn't care. I don't care for the way his mother acts toward the girl, and I don't care for the fact that he thinks that the the girl's supposed to bend to beat his mother's bullshit. Fuck her, she's ridiculous. She got on my motherfucking nerves. Anyway, she's totally incorrect. 
But the program ended. The last scene was we're at Ray J. Ray J had this party. We go into the party. Hayes on Tierra show up at the party. These bitches are drunk. Okay? They're drunk. Princess is the girl who Ray J is actually dating now. There's a situation where Tierra Marie wants her stuff. Ray J's telling her he don't know where all the stuff that she left is. Or if the girl, uh, Princess, has it even, th she might have thrown the stuff in the garbage. So when Tierra got drunk, she's like, hey, you know what? I'm going to need a check cut for my shit. Well, Ray J's good smooth ass tells her, you know, why would I write you a check for things that I already bought? I bought them things for you. But guess what, Ray J? If you let this bitch throw her shit away, you need to pay for it again. And I'm looking at Ray J. Ray J's messy. Very messy. And I'm seeing a lot of uh, mess. I just, I said, oh, here we go. Very messy. But anyway, long story short, the two princess is over there talking smack with her girlfriends being loud, making a scene. And Tier, I already told you Tier's ass is really two sheets to the wind. She's crazy as fuck. So they had a little confrontation. The girl started talking about the stuff that there was one person and she had a picture and talking about the stuff that was in there, told there was Vagisil in there <laughs> and some other stuff and this, that, and the other. And they were ending, we were leaving out as Tierra Marie threw a motherfucking drink on her. And I didn't even blame her. I didn't even blame her because that bitch was all about, that princess was all about showing off and Tierra went on and showed on off for her. So I don't know what's going to go on. That's what led us into where we're going next week. Um, and that's the bad part. I don't even believe we've actually met all of the castmates. So, I don't know about this melodrama. It's going to be interesting. We got to see what Mona got up for. She got Mona gets down. So, I'm sure I, I have big hopes for this. But it is different to see this as opposed to seeing Hip Hop, um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta or New York. Because these are like younger, a younger generation of Hip Hop folk. So, very interesting, but that motherfucking Tierra Marie, that bitch seems as though she likes to fight a little taste, so she's going to be interesting to watch. All right, guys, you can thumbs up or thumbs down the video. You guys know how that works. Leave me comments in the bottom. I will talk with you guys later. This is part one, episode one of our new melodrama, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. All right, guys, talk to you later.